Hot, 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 damn. This is your man Jake Blitz, Ninja Biz News. And yes, you guessed it. I'm back with another interview. Well, let's see who we have in the house today. Hot, 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 damn. This is Ninja Biz News, Jake Blitz. And I'm sitting here with the infamous Keezy Mac. The infamous guy that's known for dropping diss tracks day after day, writing hour after hour, the man of the power. I'll let him introduce himself. Keezy Mac, how you feeling today? Looking good, man. It's your boy Keezy Mac, a.k.a. Keezy. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel good, man. Okay, okay. Let's get straight to it. So, uh, congratulations on uh, all of the diss tracks that you've been dropping. You know, staying consistent and things like that. Also, peeped your uh, video that came out the other day. Nice work, nice work. Shouts out to the chef. Put that masterpiece together very well. So, uh, <clears throat> why don't you start off with telling us how and why you got involved with the diss tracks? Um, well, I was just in album mode already. Okay. And... I just happened to be, you know what I mean, in the environment where I had the studio with me and then I heard, you know what I mean, I heard the tracks and like it was just something that I was like, you know what, let me hop in it too because it's, it's, it's fresh, it's, it's fresh game, it's going to keep me up, it's going to keep me, you know what I mean, in the in the sparring realm okay. to be able to still keep going okay. and you know what I mean, like, of course, you know, like I was, uh, I was thinking about it because I had looked back at uh, when I was battling against Stax and Stax never mentioned me. He uh, he literally didn't mention me at all. Uh, the other rapper Sazu, he did mention Hulk status, so that's why I jumped in on that one. But I instantly stopped with that battle and went on to Stax because he had... It was just like, I just knew that it was a diss war thing to be able to do, so it was cool though, like that uh, everybody was like, nah, that's cool, that's the way we want it anyway, this war. You find somebody that even going against one of your boys or something like that. And it was it was enough for me to be able to at least show that, hold on, Hawk status ain't dead and we ain't slept on either. And Incredible been doing what he could and what we always do when we work together. But people gotta know that Hawk status ain't only a rap group, it's a family and we don't just always, you know what I mean, come together to rap. We come together and do other things and now we back in it, you know what I mean? I'm uh, on my solo stuff as far as just Keezy Mac. And of course, I work with Cash Team. That's the group that I've been with for the last five years, I believe so. And uh, before that, you know, Hog Status, we still never really put together like a group project. We just, like I said, we just family. So we just known around Stockton for having a lot of different Hog Status family and different things like that. So when it was mentioned, Frog Status, <laughs> I had to. Uh, hot, 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 hot. So when Frog Status got mentioned, I had to hop in and, you know, and that the history is that from, you know, uh, the spaghetti and cherry Sprite, you know what I mean? And uh, we need some marketing from the cherry Sprite because we found a couple of those. But yeah, that was just uh, something that I was able to do. I think I made nine total songs for against uh, one. It was even nine, nine songs, but four against uh and four against Stacks, and I believe five against Zoo. But uh, yeah, that was just it was something to it was something to do, and I love the rap. Well, very very well said. So now, what was going through your mind when you was in battle rap mode and guys was taking shots back at you, and how did you feel with your pin game being at the level that it said, and the opponents guys and and the and the guys that were throwing shots back at you, where do you feel that they're being game with that? Yeah, I feel like, I feel, for surely I feel like Zoo is for surely up there like with the bars because I already heard, you know, things before. And when I heard the, the, the thing that he did against Incredible, I was like, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, I get where he was going with it because he started the Dish Wars but I also see where the other, uh, the people that's on the same level as far as where Macalot might be or Incredible, they have two different styles as well with him. So if there is no, you know what I mean? There is no uh, stamp on that or what it could be. But I felt like the beats in a different style, it didn't, it was a good, it was good. But the first warning shot wasn't better than Incredible's. And I felt like since he said the, the, the frog status thing, I was like, oh, I can actually get in this one. 
Not to say that he ain't tight or anything like that, but it was just like, I know that I can rap and I know that I can be able to get at him for, you know what I mean, for, for that one. So uh, then as far as stacks, I hadn't heard him. I just heard that he bummed. So that was easy for me to get on. But then when I heard him come, when he came back and I heard the things that he did with Luck, I was like, okay, Stax, Stax is really uh, that boy. He really know what he's doing. So like, I feel like everybody, I, I want to collab with everybody. I feel like everybody is real talented. And I feel like depending on the song, each person you're going to get something different from them because I know for a fact that the levels can be raised. Like they, uh, they say like, uh, when I first did the, uh, I don't know why I did the Tupac beat either. It was just something to hop on. It was like, uh, hit him up. So I hopped on that one. I liked it, but I, I, I just recorded it hella fast and I didn't do any type of mixing on a lot of those songs. There ain't no mixing or nothing like that. I know if I would have been able to uh, memorize the verse and spit it all away, it would have came, it would have came like 10 times better. But for what it was, it was tight, but it was too long. So on the next song, I was tempted to not even do the little engine that couldn't on that Chris Brown beat because it was like he had just did it. But I'm like, man, I can't not do it just because the singer did it or something like that. So I hopped on and I did it my style, my way. And everybody liked that one. So, you know, and it stepped up my level of like punchlines because I'm not gonna lie, like when I was younger, I used to always do like punchlines and we would like battle people and stuff like that. The older I got, I started making songs. But then like sometimes like when I make a song, I'll probably have like one or two in there, slipped in there and this and this and that. But like lately it's like, okay, I can step it up more and stop being so lazy on it, this and that. But I also respect the lyrical, you know what I mean, this too and everything. Like that's why I have a couple different tracks where I'm not only trying to just show that I can go line for line with a punch. I'm showing that in between I can speak on something or you know, mix it up and do different things like that. And I feel like everybody pretty much is, is seeing and uh, doing the same as far as not just getting stuck in uh, the war. Like, it, like if if I was in, you know what I mean, a jungle or something like that, then of course, yeah, you gotta come like that. But even some people like that, they still take their time, explain stories, break things down. So just do whatever it is that you do, but make it war ready and for a battle. And that's what I did. Like, even though I was making the tracks, fast in my head i already know i already have a formula on how i'm going to write so no matter what whenever i write a song it's going it's going to rhyme in threes it's going to compound rhyme i'm going to like i already know what i'm going to do i'm going to for surely rhyme on the twos and the fours all the way through maybe i might even do the whole 16 with the same rhyming word or so i already know all of that like i know for a fact that's going to be there the other thing that i try to work on is just making sure that i have my rhythm on point and do that each time but like i'm getting better at that because i had i had been stopping so now i'm memorizing my shit a little bit more as i go and getting ready for shows and different things like that so yeah nice 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 well there you have it ladies and gentlemen before i get you up out of here keezy mac i'd just like to ask you two more questions yes sir <clears throat> while you were involved in the battle battle raps and i'm pretty sure you're not afraid to get involved in it again if you hear something that you don't like what was your most liked diss tracks? And I'll give you three. And what was your least liked diss tracks? And I'll also give you three on that. All right. The one I liked the most, to be honest, would be... Honestly... Honestly, damn. I would just say... I would just say Mines. Okay. You know what I mean? All three? Like all of it from like I, I like mines. Okay, that's 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 an honest answer. And what about your least? My my least of all of them that I heard, I would probably say yeah. See, I wasn't really listening to a whole bunch of them. Like as far as the ones I just heard that people did bad. I heard the ones against me. I caught. Some of them. I heard a lot of Miss X's and Mac Lods. Uh, yeah, I'm different though. Like, so I would say the the ones that I like the least. I would probably even just say my Tupac one. 
okay. mean, not that I didn't like it. I just feel like I didn't deliver it the best way. So I feel like that one was uh, could have been. I could have took a little bit more time on it and did it did it right. Okay. But like outside of what I did, I didn't really pay too much attention to like other people's and stuff like that. So I say my number one would be my little engine that couldn't. And after that, the one that I could have did better would be the Tupac hit him up verse one. Um, yeah, I, I outside I don't I don't I don't really know anybody that did too bad. Okay, okay, another honest answer. Well, thank you, Keezy Mac, for coming out and giving us a little bit of your time out of your busy schedule. Yes, Hope sir. to see you back again, uh, either in the Dis Wars or in another interview. Until then, rise and keep grinding and. Make sure you climb that mountaintop. And we're out. Hide, 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 damn, it's new. Seems like that boy kid's doing me. I'm Jake hard, Blitz. Like he's about to drop. I don't know where he's going to drop. Hide, bro. There he is. Boy, he's going to drop. Yo, I drop heat on wax like candlesticks. Yeah. Keezy can rap, I'd rather hear a camel spit So I was thinking, lock and load and let the ammo rip I'll put these hands on keys like pianists Fuck a frog status, I'll fire up the clappers Slide through, they block and spray it up like taggers I'll be with the backpackers